Hi everybody, in today's recipe, I'm gonna be making for you some cauliflower chicken fried rice. So what we're gonna do today is swap out the rice for the cauliflower. And this makes it a very low carb dish, very healthy and delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, everybody, let's go over our ingredients and get started. First off, we need some cauliflower, of course, right? And we need plenty of it because we're substituting it for our rice. So we're gonna need three or four cups or whatever will fit in your pan. Now, if you need a little tutorial on how to cut up a cauliflower into florets like I have here, then I'll, I have a video for you and I'll leave a link for you in the description, so check that out. We'll need some chicken thighs. This is about four chicken thighs. Mine started out as boneless and skinless, so all I had to do is cut it up into, say, one half inch to an inch size chunks. We'll need a couple of eggs. I have some diced carrots here, some green onion, some peas which have been frozen and I just, I'm letting them thaw out. I have some minced garlic. I have some minced fresh ginger. And what you wanna do there is just get a microplane, peel your ginger and just grate it. it comes out really easy. Uh, here I have some coconut aminos. Now, if you've never heard of that, and I just recently became familiar with it myself, it's a soy substitute and it tastes really really good i think it's worth trying guys so check that out we'll also need some salt and some sesame oil so the first thing we have to do is turn our cauliflower into rice and we're going to do that by placing it into a food processor or if you don't have one you can use a box grater that'll work too so i have my blade in here already and we're just going to place the florets into the food processor and we're gonna pulse it until it sort of resembles rice. We don't wanna make it too small, but we wanna you know, make sure it's small enough. So I'll throw this in about halfway full and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what you want it to look like. Looks like, it kind of resembles rice, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish grating the rest of it and we'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Now we're ready to rock and roll, ready to cook. Okay, so I got my frying pan here. If you have a wok, definitely bring it out. This is the time to use it. I don't have one, but I'm gonna use a nice big frying pan here. I've got my temperature on medium high heat and we're gonna cook up our chicken. So I'm gonna add just a, like a teaspoon of, of the sesame oil. Let that oil heat up a bit. All right, we're gonna toss in our chicken. Like I said, nice medium. And we're gonna cook this up. It's gonna cook up pretty quick, guys, because the, the chicken pieces are small, probably five, seven minutes or so, medium high heat. I'm gonna season with a, just a touch of salt. Our coconut aminos has a lot less sodium in it than regular soy sauce, so you're gonna wanna season up your, your chicken a little bit. All right, once our chicken is no longer pink, we're gonna set it aside right here in our bowl. We're gonna keep it warm. Using the same pan, we're gonna add about a tablespoon or more of the sesame oil again to the pan. And we're gonna add our carrots and the green onion. And we're gonna cook these and saute them until the carrots get soft. So it's gonna take about, you know, three to five minutes. Now I'm on medium high again. I wanna get the temperature up and get these going. All right, I'm gonna hit the carrots with just a touch of salt, just a light dusting. I'm gonna add the garlic and the ginger. And I'm gonna to continue to cook this for about another minute. All right, now it's time to add the cauliflower. And we're gonna cook the cauliflower. It only takes about five minutes to do this as well. Now I may add a little bit more sesame oil. I want this to have enough you know, oil in it so that it's basically fried. So it looks like I'm gonna have to add just a little bit more. Now we need to add some salt. So we'll do a little dusting of that. And we're gonna let this cook up, like I said, for probably about five minutes. We want our temperature on medium high. And we just, we want that cauliflower just to get a little tender. All right, it's been five minutes. It's softening up a bit. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the coconut aminos and I'm adding about five tablespoons. So you can adjust that to your liking. If you like it a little, a little more, then you know, feel free to add more. So I'm scrambling up the eggs in the bowl. We're gonna push our cauliflower rice to the side. 
and I'm just gonna scramble the eggs right here, right on the side of the, of the rice. All right, once we get the eggs scrambled up, then we can just mix it all in together. I'm gonna toss in the peas and the chicken. Put the chicken back in there and just stir fry this up a little bit until everything's nice and hot again and we can serve it up. All right guys, have a look at our cauliflower chicken fried rice. It looks amazing and it smells great. And I'm gonna dig in. Let's serve this up. It even looks like chicken fried rice, right? It does, it really does. But the real test is, how does it taste? Let's find out. I'm telling you guys, you gotta try that coconut aminos. It is really delicious. Now remember, it is also, like I said, very healthy. Everything in this dish is organic, the peas, the cauliflower, the chicken is uh, free range. I mean, I, I really, you know, went the extra mile on this. So, but with the coconut aminos, it's organic, it's gluten-free, it's non-GMO, and there's no MSG either. And it's really good. It tastes like soy sauce, but it's a little bit more subtle. And I really like that. And there's a lot less sodium in it as well. So, like I said, do give it a try. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna go in for another bite. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please, you know, share it, give it a thumbs up. And of course, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you've never had cauliflower before, and you, you know, you're kind of on the fence about it. I mean, I've always been on the fence about it until I started cooking with it. And I tell you, eating it plain is kind of boring, but when you make, I have a pizza dough that you can make out of it. I've got a cilantro lime rice video that you can make, and now this one. And I tell you, they're all really delicious. So I'll leave links for all of those down below for you in the description, so check those out. Thanks again for watching. Please share, and we'll see you next time with another delicious recipe.